friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about a common myth that's been going around. Well, it's partially myth, it's partially true. And it's in regards to using metal with honey, with ferments, or with bentonite clay. So right here, I've got some kimchi, I've got some bentonite clay, I've got um, some, that's my ferment, here's some honey. Here's an oxymel that is still in the process of brewing of honey and vinegar with mullein. And here is a honey and wine extract with fresh rosemary. Even though people have watched my videos for years, seen me using honey, and, and using metal with the honey for the past uh, over seven and a half years now, nobody has said anything till all of a sudden, it's been at least a month or so, people have been freaking out about the metal and honey, which tells me somebody out there either put out a video, I don't know because there's very few other channels I watch that are similar to mine that might cover such things. So I don't know who said it. I don't know if it was in a blog, all I know is that suddenly people, you're never supposed to use metal and honey. And I went through the same thing with the bentonite clay when I was showing videos of making facial masks using a small dessert fork to mix the uh, herbal infusion in with the bentonite clay. And people were freaking out about that. And I wanted to say that I fell for this rumor as well many years ago after I'd already been making kimchi for years and then came across information you're never supposed to use metal with your ferments. Let me explain that. Usually when people are saying that, um, they're not specifying the types of metal. They're just saying metal in general. And maybe they're intentionally being general because they don't want to go into all the details or they simply don't understand. So certain metals such as copper and silver when it comes to ferments in particular can actually kill the good bacteria that you need to get a good ferment going. And so this is why you don't want to use certain metals when it comes to your ferments. When it comes to bentonite clay, certain metals can react to the mineral content in the clay. And the claim is that it makes it useless, which I don't fully agree with that, but I understand the point that they're making. And then with honey, they say using metal with honey can degrade the benefits of it and the, and the nutrients. Metals that you should avoid whenever you're working with any of these things would have to be anything that's conductive or anything that can destroy your healthy bacteria or that is just plain unhealthy, such as aluminum. So I would avoid aluminum. In fact, uh, little by little through the years, I've gotten rid of all aluminum and I've switched to stainless steel or glass or even uh, cast iron, depending on what it is. Those are the top three types of baking things I use for cooking and baking. Like I said, when I was doing, start off with kimchi, I was using a stainless steel bowl, but that never seemed to affect it. But I still freaked out and decided I'd get myself a big just plain glass punch bowl because I like to make my kimchi like a big batch at a time. So I wanted a big bowl and I started making my kimchi in that. But then I learned through the years that I would have been fine just sticking to the stainless steel bowl because stainless steel is non-reactive. And the higher quality the stainless steel is, the better it's gonna be. So whenever you see me using this, or this or the little dessert fork to stir things or scoop anything out. I'm not worried about that because it's stainless steel. The problem with rumors like this is everybody just starts, oh, oh, I shouldn't do this and that. I should only use plastic or glass. And wood is also a good option. Again, you have to realize a lot of times people are just being general and they're not, people aren't stopping to look into all the facts. They're just saying, oh, all metal is bad for this, that, and the other thing. And they get on this bandwagon without understanding all of the facts. So I did, even though when the honey thing started, all of a sudden, at first I just was like, it's just the same rumor again, like I used to hear about fermenting, like I used to hear about the bentonite clay. Now it's just being regurgitated again for honey. Again, there is truth to it. Again, you should avoid things like aluminum, silver, and copper, and probably certain other metals as well when it comes to, you know, even cast iron, when it comes to your honey, your bentonite clay, and your ferments. However, 
stainless steel is a safe option. It's always a, a great fallback when it comes to using any kind of metal for such things like this. And if you don't believe me, just look it up. All you have to do is look it up. I thought, well, before I shoot this video, I'm, I'm just going by assumptions. I'm going to go ahead and look it up. And sure enough, I was right. Stainless steel is a safe option. But it is good to understand there are different grades of stainless steel. And stainless steel, generally speaking, should not have, shouldn't be magnetic. So like I've got a magnetic cutting board right here and it's for holding my steel knives, but they're not stainless steel. There is a difference. And I can't get this to stick. So one way to tell if something is stainless steel, if you're not sure, is to see if you can get a magnet to stick to it. It won't, it's not gonna stick, okay? Now, um, let's see if I have another metal. There's a, a cast iron pan. It sticks to the cast iron, so you can clearly see it sticks quite well that that is definitely not stainless steel, that is cast iron. But to my stainless steel, it's not going to stick at all. There's no sticking going on there. If it sticks a little bit, that means it's probably not a high grade stainless steel. So anyway, I just wanted to shoot a quick video, just getting that out there because I've been getting this one again quite a bit. So yes, while glass and bamboo or other types of wood can be great for your honey, your bentonite clay and your ferments, stainless steel is totally fine if that's what you have. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and it just kind of helped uh, dispel the rumor a little bit. Just understand which metals are safe when it comes to any of that. And thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.